So, hello and welcome to another Spectrum DX6 Quick Start Guide. In this video, I'll be showing you how to do wireless trainer with the Spectrum DX6. However, this is also applicable to most of the other Spectrum Generation 2 transmitters. So, for example, the DX9, DX18 Gen 2, DX6, DX7, DX8 Gen 2, and the list goes on. So, now let's get into it. So, probably the most important part of this is that you need to have both transmitters on spectrum. So here we have a DSM2 DX6i and a DSMX DX6. This will work. You only have to have one transmitter which is capable of wireless trainer, um, which has to be the master transmitter, so in this case it will be the DX6. The DX6i is on DSM2 and although it's not capable of wireless trainer, what it does is it essentially binds to the DX6, so you need to be on a new model for this. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to start up the DX6 and go on to a new model. So, we're going to just go onto the DX6 and go into Model Select and select a new model. Now, none of these models are used on this DX6, so we can just choose any one. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to get the DX6 and we're going to turn the DX6 on, obviously. So now that we're over on the DX6 and we've got the DX6 turned on, what we want to do is we want to go into the function list, scroll down until we see system setup, click yes, and continue scrolling down until you reach trainer. Okay, so now you have three main options. You've got wired trainer, um, to do that you obviously need to have a buddy cable, wireless trainer and trainer alerts. Now for this work we're going to be going into wireless trainer and we want to decide whether we want programmable master or pilot link master. So programmable master um, is basically where you can change the controls on the slave transmitter. So for example you can reverse controls. Um, generally what you want to do is you want to have it on pilot link master which is where it keeps all of the controls from the master transmitter and that's what it uses on the slave transmitter um, that's much simpler and generally it just works better now you can also have master override um, you have to assign that to a switch but I wouldn't recommend using that because um, I've had some issues where it doesn't or it doesn't really recognize very small movements on the stick, so you have to move the stick quite a lot on the aircraft, won't move very smoothly, smoothly. And also it's quite distracting for the pilot who is trying to fly if you're constantly moving this, the sticks and is doing things that they're not telling it to do. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to press bind. And then turn on the DX6i or the other transmitter just as if you were binding it to a new model. And there you go. So these two are now bound up. Um, this is the master, this is the slave, and I will now go and get out an aircraft and demonstrate it in practice. Okay, so we've now got um, the E-Flight P-47 out, and we are going to be testing the wireless trainer. So, the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to move the ailerons on the master. You can see that everything works. Now, if we press the black switch at the back, which is what it's set to by default, which is I, I'm trying to move my hand out of the way, you can now do the same with DX6 sign. And you also notice it actually has the same ring. And also, because we use Pilot Link Master, we don't actually have to do any reversing or anything like that because it's already on the setup that it was on on the master. So now, Whenever you press this black button, it'll hand control over to um, the slave transmitter. Now one thing of note, which I forgot to mention in the previous segment, is that if you turn off either of these transmitters, you will lose the bind and you'll have to redo it. So it's not like with a receiver where you can turn them off and on again, it'll stay bound. 
um, it loses the bind as soon as the ether transmitter is turned off and you'll have to go through the process again. So thank you for watching this Spectrum DX6 quick start guide. Um, if you like this, please like, comment, subscribe and check out my channel for more videos.